Hey guys, Matt from soundrolling.com doing another video today, trying to fit in three, catch up on the ones that I've missed on this week. So in this one, I'm gonna talk a bit about why my boom op has a wireless feed. I'm using a G3 to wirelessly feed it to him, so he just gets it out one side of the ear. I find that's good, because then he can also have a perception of what's going on as well. Um, and obviously the G3 is kind of the cheapest way to uh, kind of rig that up, just kind of reverse how you'd use it as a radio mic, send it into the transmitter, it goes to the receiver, the receiver goes into the headphones, and into here. Then, um, what else is useful? There's so many useful things about that. Firstly, then you only send the boom track to him, so he's uh, understanding what he's actually recording, and then uh, he can tell the quality himself, as well as myself as well, so you have a second, second opinion type of thing on it. Um, you can also do things where, uh, with uh, tone or slate mic, for instance, you can actually send uh, little signals or if you're like starting to dip into frame, you can just do a little pip of a tone um, or open up your slate mic or do any other kind of signal straight through to him wirelessly without needing to do anything. Um, and also, uh, if something's going down or you just want it to like communicate a bit more secretively, um, then you can just uh, pip and use secret handshakes and stuff to uh, get it so that's why I have um, yeah a wireless for my boom op let me know what else you do with your wireless feeds to your boom operators or anyone else and uh, yeah look forward to hearing from it and I will see you tomorrow subscribe